and deep into the rock behind this waterfall. Okay, just finished uh, the Grey Gull chain, heading over to Scandrel's Run. Scandrels I can definitely only do on hard. I don't think it's possible to disable the, the fire trap corridor. Or if you can, it's at the far end of the corridor. Which is fine for a non permadeath character, but no use to a permadeath character. If I've got to run past the trap boxes, then I'm not doing it elite. Even with evasion. I should run to give other quests out here more often. Certainly cuts down on travelling time. Sorting my inventory as I go. There's nothing to do in this explorer area anymore since I'm well over level. This mine has not been worked since the pirates first claimed the cove. It now serves to separate pirate from peasant. So this one should be straightforward, even on hard. And the uh, trap corridor is the only one I'm worried about. And with evasion, that should be fine. It's not individual A hits. pedestal sits in the middle of this room. This must be where you will piece together the idol. It's not individual hits that are the problem in the trap the corridor. The around you swelters with the heat given off by unseen machinery. It's the cumulative effect of running through lots of them that can clearly kill. Um, which is... Uh, which is exactly the sort of thing that evasion is good for, permadeath. So uh, evasion is definitely one of those things that, while it's very useful, it can be a bit of a trap for permadeath players. Um, it's no good playing a character that 90% uh, of the time takes no damage and the other 10% of the time takes full damage. Because it's the ones where you take full damage that kill you. Um, but if it's a cumulative thing, of you're running down a corridor and you're taking less damage over the course of many, many hits, then the evasion is something you can rely on. Alright, nasty trap corridor here. The idol of Halak's legs are nearby. That one is a real nasty fight. You have found the first piece of the idol of Hala. If you're not expecting it. And surprisingly easy when you know it's coming. Oof, well played. Yeah, the will save is actually uh, surprisingly problematic. Mm. 
when I was newer to the game, I recall reading some advice that will save was the one you could neglect out of the three. The reflex was hugely important, and fortitude was always very important in D&D, but the will save you could get away with in DDO, because a lot of the effects that are will-based, they've toned down the DDO. And I don't know if I'm finding that to be true. I seem to get away playing clerics with really bad reflex saves just by throwing a lot of resists on. Which is not to say it's easy, but you know, they can suffer through it. Whereas characters without will save, I don't know. They do seem to suffer quite a lot. The enchanted mosaic here leads up and past the drawbridge above. Maybe it's a permanent versus non permanent thing. Bad will save introduces a lot of long tail risk, maybe. Just a small percentage chance that you get held several times in a row and die in a way that maybe isn't so true of the other saves. But I don't know if that's really true. It's, you know, a few... I mean, as we saw with my last permanent character, who died to uh, a failed force and reflex save combo. The then over the edge to the room below. Failing any of your saves in a row is a bad idea. Maybe it's just more true at high levels. Certainly at low levels, will save is a big deal. Um, cobalt shaman throwing whole person. And uh, lots of clerical enemies throwing command around. Ah uh, yes, this is one of those inventory filling quests, isn't it? Ordinarily, I'd go to a lot more trouble to uh, buff myself up for this corridor. But with evasion, I don't really think I will need to. Hopefully I'm right. Actually got through there with... oh, there's the first hit. The second piece of the idol has been evade, found. evade. Hey, I was meant to hit the valve. The ground shakes as the stone door to the south of you rumbles open. Yep, I got zero hits there. So the evasion was going good. Good timing, I'm back at the start. Uh, 
Um, I also opened that gateway down here, I think. The idol of Halach's tail is near. The idol's third piece has been located. Okay, so that's three of the puzzles done. So one is the uh, one is the tile puzzle that opens the door just down from the start. Um, there's the one behind the earth elementals, which I got first, and the one down the uh, series of fire traps. So I've got the one behind the wheel puzzle, and there's one more that I don't remember, but I'll find him. I'll find it near the boss, I expect. Oh, it's the one down this corridor that you have to open from both. Uh, you have to open it from one lever and then go back round to get in the entrance down here, if I remember right. Wheels here clearly control the portcullis leading to the room containing the idol's claw. It's slightly annoying the way that having the wheel selected makes it quite hard to read the characters on the wheel. In fact, I just picked the wrong thing on the puzzle there because I uh, the idol of misread Halo it. Left the idol is nearly complete. Only one piece left to find. All right, the boss is just up here from the wheel. I seem to remember. Rusty gears squeal as several portcullises rattle to life. All right, now I go back.
I'm not sure what the fastest way to this is. I'll go back the way I came since I know that gets me there. Okay. He tripped me and then died from damage I'd already done to him. The idol of Halach's head is nearby. You have found the last piece. Now return to the pedestal at the entrance and reconstruct the idol of Halach. Just checking how I'm doing on collectibles. I haven't really received any useful uh, augment crystals from the collectible hand-ins. Uh, well, just a few on this guy, the ones I have in my luck sword. But I keep trying. Again. Well done. The scoundrel's run is over. All right, nice. This mine has not been worked since the pirates first claimed the cove. It now serves to separate pirate from peasant. And I reached 1100 favor. Very nice. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.